Look at this Mercedes-Benz CLS 350. It's absolutely stunning. It's done just 93,000 kilometres since new. And it's black with black leather interior. It's got the very nice looking five spoke alloy wheels. A nice set of Pirelli tyres. It's black with black leather interior. The timber on the interior looks fantastic. You could never have too much timber in a motor car, I don't think. It's got navigation, parking sensors, xenon headlights. It's also got the seven speed gearbox with the three and a half litre V6 engine, which puts out about 200 kilowatts of power. The CLS is a four door coupe and it's a four seater. It's even got climate controlled air conditioning in the back, which is adjustable here. I think these are incredible value for money. I personally don't think they look all that different to the new CLS. I can tell you right now, if you told someone this was a 10 year old car, they would be very surprised. It's got the twin exhaust system. It's got an incredible set of log books. It's even got all the receipts for every service done on the car, which is very good to have and very rare. You've got plenty of room in the boot. It's got a nice big spare wheel. It's got a Fiam battery, which is a very good quality battery. The car is in particularly good condition. It's been very well looked after. And it's getting pretty hard to find a 2006 model with under 100,000 kilometres. It's got a sunroof. It's Bluetooth, it's got Bluetooth um, capability. Navigation, six stack of CD, climate control, front and back. And this timber is quite unique. It's sort of got like a matte finish to it. And it looks very nice, it looks a lot more modern than your highly polished timber on most Mercedes. It's also got Xenon lights. The car has been gouged. Look at the condition of those headlights. They're like new. And as I said, to get something like this for under thirty thousand dollars is remarkable, especially with under a hundred thousand kilometres. I think to the average person, this looks like it's a fifty to eighty thousand dollar car pretty easily. And we know it's got its full service history. Have a look under the bonnet. Mm, it's a very nice car. I took a lot of pictures of the interior. I think I took about 20 photos of the interior with all the timber and things. Might have to delete a few of those when they're uploaded. But yeah, it's got the 200 kilowatt V6 coupled with the seven speed transmission. It's capable of zero to 100 in around six and a half seconds, 6.7 from memory. Ah, very nice. You may or may not be able to see there's two chains in there. So Mercedes-Benz do things properly. A lot of cars just have a timing belt. You have to change it every pancake day. Um, like in, in the case of an Audi or Volkswagen every four years or 90,000 kilometres, timing change you never have to change. So normally a car would have a timing chain. Mercedes have gone that little bit further and they've got timing chains. The only time you ever see an issue with a timing chain is if you're trying to prove something and you drive a car for 40,000 kilometres or four years without servicing it, then you are putting a lot of unnecessary strain and pressure on the timing chains and you may need a new one. But if a car has been serviced properly I'd say every, at least every year, every 12 months or 15,000 kilometres. When they start to get to this sort of age, I'd probably start doing it every 12 months or 10,000 kilometres, whatever comes first. Oil changes are cheap. Oil and a filter on a, a car like this, if you just go to a normal mechanic or a European specialist, 
is up to $300. And uh, when they, if you get it looked at every six or 12 months, um, they can simply do an oil change and they can say, look, you know what, you're going to be up for some brakes probably at the next service. You might be up for some, fil some filters as well. And you can actually put a plan in place so that you know at your next service you're going to be spending some money on some tyres or brakes or whatever. It's quite a sensible way of, uh, of doing things. It's got memory electric seats, cruise control, speed limiter. You know, it's got climate control. It's... There wasn't a lot of options on these. They really came with everything. But it's a very impressive car, and we're very proud to offer it to you here at the Old Timer Centre in Marrickville. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.